Hi, I'm Dan from DJ More Lofts, and today we're going to try something a little bit different. We are going to do a day in the life of Director Dan. So strap in, follow us, and uh, yeah, let's get on with it. Oh, how awkward if we crash on camera. It'd be awkward, wouldn't it? Hi, off to Wurton. We're on our way over to a job where it's a little bit different, actually. We've never done it before. Um, we created like a self-contained apartment upstairs, basically. So the mother-in-law's moved into the house, um, and we basically created a nice little area for them, the kitchen, bathroom, bedroom, and even a uh, like a lounge area for them. So yeah, looking forward to seeing what this one's gonna look like. When we left, the painters were just starting, so I haven't really seen the fully finished um, item. So yeah, looking forward to it. Let's go. Remove, indicate maneuver. Oh, I can't even remember now. 10 years ago before I was driving. It's one of those new Yaris's that doesn't come with indicators. Here we go. So this one's got a rear flat roof dormer. And like we touched on earlier, it's like a self-contained apartment up there. We'll reverse it in, get those angles for the camera. Pull the alloy wheels, I'll reverse up the curb. Oh, I don't know about this. I don't know how paparazzi put up with this. Just having a play, having a play. Sorry. I've had something like 40 emails already this morning. That's a wrap, so that's this one. So now we're just gonna pop over to one of our other little jobs that we're um, doing around the corner. Um, I think we're plastering and second fix carpentry there, so we'll take a look there, showcase what that's at. Then we've got a boiler service we're gonna go look at for our sister company. And then we're off to Aylesbury to um, look at another completed job. But yeah, let's get, on, let's get on with it. Right, off to the other side of Wooten now. We're gonna have a look at this little V-Lux conversion that we're working on. Let's go. Morning. So we're just in the existing hallway here. So originally there was a, a wall and a doorway leading onto the box bedroom. Clients decided to get rid of that box bedroom, create a nice big landing area, and we'll go up to the main room upstairs. Yeah, put those hips into it. Oh, right, see you later. So, we're now just gonna pop over to Great Denham. Um, we're doing a boiler service for someone over there, so we're just gonna look to uh, meet Patrick over there, do a little video and some content around that for our sister company, DJ Moore Plumbing. Um, but yeah, let's get going. Right, you all good? Yeah. Sound, we'll see you later. See you later. Any problems, give us a shout. Miss you already, George. So, just pulling into Great Denham now. Hopefully we should be meeting Patrick, our plumbing engineer. Oh, there's no entry. Don't get that bit on camera. So we're here in Great Denham on this little flat and uh, we're going to do a boiler service. So let's find Patrick, follow him up and we'll see you in a minute. Brand everything, even his bump. Got to take every opportunity I get for a little break. Hold on, hold on. I'm not good at this filming bit, is he? Hold on, hold on, we gotta get shots of you walking up the stairs and everything, yeah? Action shot. Oh, hello, Patrick. Nice of you to join us. Yeah, come in, mate. Got you to do your little boiler service for your petal. And typically what goes wrong in these kind of boilers then? Is it the fans and stuff like that? I know we've changed a couple of gas valves lately and stuff. Yeah, gas valves morph because they're making <coughs> noise. Um, these sump trays have a tendency of cr having a crack and leaking into the boiler, so you change the sump tray. So. And if it leaks there, does it leak outside of the boiler or would it end up going in the condensed? Uh, that's why it's, so it's hidden. So no one would notice that their boiler's leaking because well, it's going out of the condensed. Right. The pressure drop constantly, and um, that's when you get plumbers with headaches coming in and like, I can't find this leak. It's actually because it's internal. And every time we do a service, we do a full strip down like what you're doing here. Yeah, yeah. I appreciate it. it's a bit difficult to show this on camera. I'll jump out your way. I'll let you crack on, mate. And uh, yeah, we'll yeah, see you in a bit. Thanks. So we're all done here. Um, we're going to leave Pat now to finish off the service and stuff like that. But we're going to head over to our next appointment in Aylesbury um, to look at a finished loft conversion over there. So this one's a, a big flat roof dormer, massive um, master bedroom we created up there with a fantastic bathroom as well. So yeah, looking forward to seeing this one because it's got some beautiful Juliet balconies as well. And uh, from what I see from the client's images, 
got a lovely little paint scheme going on as well. So yeah, look, we'll get in the car and follow us. So Lofty's on route with us as well. He's on tour, Lofty on tour. Oh, so we're now over in Aylesbury. Um, this project uh, was completed probably about two months ago, but we did do a short little video before um, where we jumped up onto the scaffold and Steve and Mario were starting to build the dormer and taking off the tiles and bits and bobs like that. But obviously we got no footage in between, but here's the finished example. So we'll go have a look around and we'll see what we can show you. Currently um, just here to do a, a video of the finished build, if you like, but what we're gonna do is just showcase some of the things that we've, we've done on this, for example. So here we've got a lovely SK06, um, massive window, fantastic window. If you've got the space, certainly, certainly to consider. And here we've got the blackout blinds on them as well, which just makes such a difference. Um, and just at any of an evening, especially in these summer nights, it just adds that little bit more um, space and, and makes everything feel a little bit darker in the room. Client's hung a beautiful telly on the wall, so we've got a nice big space here. Um, I love this dressing room. What do you think? I love the green. It's just so different. Um, yeah, George, bless him, he's been really busy, and even here you'll see, just push to open doors and stuff like that. Just, it's lovely. I do love the green, and I love the bench. Something really different there. Um, yeah, I think they've had a, a custom cushion made for it, but it just works really well. Something a bit different, something out of the ordinary. Um, but I think originally on the plans, there was actually a dividing wall here that we, um, once the space was created, the client see it and decided on leaving that wall out just to create the dressing area part of the bedroom. I'm glad they did, to be honest, because they've got this fantastic space here that's just so versatile and usable. Um, and from the feedback from here, from, they love it. They're over the moon with the space. I can't believe what they've got, considering the original shape of the, of the roof and the space that was up here for what we've gained them. It's mental, really is mental. And uh, yeah, it's a great, airy, perfect example of what a loft conversion can be. Um, even the bathroom, same thing, beautiful floor tiles, lovely chevron tiles on the wall, freestanding bath, very popular at the minute, freestanding bath. Um, and they've even been able to create a his and her sinks. But yeah, check out the video when it comes out. That's a wrap, so that's us done today. So we've um, took you around a few different sites to give you some examples of different types of lofts. Hopefully we'll showcase exactly what we can do and what's possible in a loft conversion. Um, but look, we're gonna look to try and do a little bit more of these videos on YouTube. So don't forget to like, comment and subscribe. Also hit that bell icon. And um, yeah, we'll see you again on episode two.